All right, yesterday I was asked to help out a prospective client whose partner took their bat and ball and went home. When I got into their power platform environment and saw what had been developed, it infuriated me. Kia ora everyone, I'm Nathan Rose. I'm a solution architect and Microsoft MVP with Olympic 33 based here in beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. There's a reason I insist on leading all my client engagements with a low code development first approach. Apart from the fact that low code is good enough for many client requirements, the real reason is that low code democratizes the development process. It takes knowledge and understanding of what's being built from the hands of a privileged few and puts it in the hands of the many. People like you and me can see and understand what's being built and, un and be involved in the process. This leads to better results. It also de-risks the project because anyone coming along in the future can easily see and understand what's been built and what's going on in the Power Platform. Now, when I got into this prospective client's Dataverse environment yesterday, I saw an extensive array of plugin assemblies. Now, apart from the fact that Power Automate is probably gonna be good enough for most of the client's requirements, so why are they writing plugins? The partner took their bat and ball and went home. We don't have access to the source code. The client doesn't have access to the source code. Sure, they can run those plugins in Dataverse, but they have no idea what they're doing and they can't update or alter them in any way. They're pretty much gonna to have to start from scratch. And that makes me mad. I hate seeing the power platform that I love that transforms lives and businesses used to hurt people. And so that is one of the biggest reasons why I insist on leading with a low code approach. Now that doesn't mean that we always do it that way. There's times when the client requirements require elements of pro code or even a pro code led approach but it's not our default position. My default position is lead with low code until you determine that you need a pro code approach. All right, that's it from me. In my next video, I'll talk about ways that you as an end user in the Power Platform can advocate for yourself when working with a partner to develop solutions. Go do something awesome on the Power Platform today and I'll talk to you soon.